Hello guys, Dragons Japan, and we have another thought of the day for you. So today is actually one for those who are movie lovers or people that uh, want to buy videos or games or things like that overseas. Um, there's just something you need to be cautious and wary of. So uh, I live in Japan here, as you guys know, and the movies here are not compatible with a lot of electronics. And what I mean by that is when it comes to technology, uh, computers, playstations, uh, any of that, the quality, I'm sorry, not the quality, the actual format actually changes based upon your country. So since I'm an American, uh, all my equipment is from America. So I come from Michigan. So all my stuff is what's considered region one equipment. So my laptop, both my, I'm sorry, both my laptops, my PlayStation 4, uh, my CDs, DVDs, anything is going to be region one. So what that means is that unless it has a region one player built into it, you cannot play those things. So it's kind of reverse backward compatible. So a, a level, a region two cannot play a region one, but a region one can play everything. You just have to adjust the settings. So I can adjust the settings, but upon doing so, it can cause a problem with the system because it, it wants to register only one version of use. And I mean the, by simply like this. So here's a Blu-ray. This is a region one. This is something from America. This is compatible with my PlayStation 4 or any other Blu-ray player from America. This will not play in Japan because the Blu-ray players here are what's called region two. So they have a different uh, kind of system hardware in them that doesn't allow them to play this kind of DVD. And this also goes for games. So I have a PlayStation 4, I've run a gaming channel like I've talked about. All my games are region one. So I can't buy a game in Japan and play it on my PlayStation. It doesn't work that way. So when it comes to compatibility, region one and region two are very different when it comes to technology. Now this goes for, like I said, movies. Uh, it also goes for CDs from what I hear. I haven't tried CDs, but I know for sure DVDs is a big one because I try and rent movies. Thankfully, my other laptop uh, allows me to play Region 2 right now because it hasn't specified Region 1 or Region 2 in its actual programming, so I can do that. You can reset a computer, I was told, and reset the settings to Region 2 if you want, but it's kind of a, a messy thing to kind of fix, so I haven't touched it, I haven't messed with that kind of thing. So I'm just kind of bringing this issue up for me, because it's not an issue because I, I'm aware of it, but people who move here, this is something you should be very conscious and wary of. If you want to stay in Japan for like a month or a couple months or even a couple weeks here and you say, oh, I'll go run a DVD or movie or something, man, you know, it should be no problem like you can in America. You have to be cautious and wary of your electronics. So if you have a, play, uh, a laptop, see if it has a, a region two setting if you're not from Asia. And also when it comes to that, if you're from region three, which I'm not quite sure where Region 3 resides. From what I understand, it's mostly island nations. Uh, French Polynesia, the Philippines, Guam. I think Guam is actually still one, but there's a few other ones. Anyone who knows the actual spe uh, specifics, please put it in the comment section. Uh, I know that I'm Region 1, there's Region 2 and Region 3, how it works for electronics. Uh, so because of that, I cannot buy games or movies here in Japan because I can't play them. Now, I can rent movies... And play them on my, my computer, uh, my computer, but I can't buy any games here for my PlayStation. I have to have everything ordered overseas, which means it's two weeks after release date until they get here, which is a real pain. But that's what you have to pay for when you want hard discs. But when it comes to everything else, Blu-rays, games, stuff like that, it's pretty easy to get around as long as you have a Region One based computer. So uh, it's very important and very imperative that people are aware of this because. If you need something for your presentation or, and I mean this, if you burn a DVD, I'm sorry, if you burn a CD here or a DVD, you have to set it to region one. So people will say, hey, can you burn me an English copy of blah, blah, blah. Sure, but the problem is, is when it writes it, it's going to write it as a region one disc, not as a region two. So they won't be able to watch it. And this is kind of going out there for the, you know, people that hack and stuff like that. Don't do that here because they, they take piracy very serious. But for people who do that and copy and things over, you can't do that here because of the region base. So it's kind of one of those really interesting things 
uh, that I learned that was actually very valuable for me because then I know what I can and can't do. But when it comes to overall, it's very important that you understand the difference between Region 1 and Region 2 for your settings. Uh, but there's no real difference. It's just a systematic hardware thing. So it will crash your It won't crash. I, I want to say crash, but it won't crash it, but it'll pretty much stall your computer and say you cannot do this function because it's not your region and don't X, Y, Z, nah, nah. So uh, it's kind of a forewarning for people when they come here, just so they kind of have an idea of what's going on with their electronics. Like, why isn't this playing? That's why. It's one of those cool issues. So, but as always, guys, um, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Please share, tell your friends. Uh, I'd like to try and make more videos. I've been sick. My girlfriend's been sick, so I'm trying to like take care of her and micromanage things and it's crazy, but I will have a lot of cool videos coming up here in the next couple months because uh, we're taking another trip soon. You'll have to wait and find out where. We'll do an announcement in a couple months where we're going. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, as always, I'll see you guys all next time. Later.